Hi, I'm Dr. Morna Foy, president of the Wisconsin Technical College System. There are so many great things happening in our system. That's why I'm visiting all 16 colleges to celebrate our 300,000 students, our staff, faculty, and leadership teams for everything they do to make our campuses vibrant and innovative places to learn and grow. I can't wait to go back to college. The first stop on our tour is Lakeshore Technical College in Cleveland, Wisconsin. It's just north of Sheboygan, near the shores of Lake Michigan. Here's the expansion portion. What you see right ahead is an ambulance bay that will go in there. The ambulance bay will lead into a simulated hospital. President Paul Carlson gave me a sneak peek of the construction of their new health skills and education center. It's a 17,000 square foot facility that allows Lakeshore to continue serving the increased need for specialized health care training in the region. These are huge investments for the colleges to make. Um, and they have been at the leading edge of that technology acquisition. We also toured a patient simulation room, as well as the dental assistant program area. Lakeshore runs a community dental clinic with the help of local dentists and dental hygienists who volunteer their time and expertise. Hi, Morna. I'm Sean. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I capped off my visit to Lakeshore with a stop at the culinary lab, where I met Sean Engel. Sean's a father of two who works full time. Well, um, what are you going to teach me today? Well, we're just going to go over some basic stuff here today. Okay. We're going to start a little bit with a discussion about food safety, human safety, kitchen safety. All right. Also, we're going to talk about, let's, let's start talking about mise en place, which is a French term for basically things in their place. Ah. So before you start any task, you want to make sure you have things that you need to be successful and to execute that dish. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna dice some vegetables. We're gonna make a mirepoix, which is onions, carrots, and celery. You're gonna take your knife and kind of use the tip of your knife and cut down lengthwise along with the grain of the onion. I'm a student here, I go part-time. Uh, planning to graduate spring of 25. Nice. Um, yeah, I work at Johnsonville full-time as an engineering technician. No kidding. And uh, yeah, and, um, and we'll get you yeah. in the kitchen. I wanted to understand more about how to use that food and basically use food to market Johnsonville, right? So basically move that needle closer to the end user or the consumer of our product. Right. In order to do that, I, well, I did some job shadowing in a culinary department. Um, really liked it. I enjoyed the work. Uh, in order to join that team, I knew I needed further education. Mm -hmm. um, so LTC, I knew, offered a culinary program. Um, so I worked with Whitney, the uh, program counselor, and we developed a schedule that worked uh, for my work schedule. Specifically at LTC, I mean, it, there's a lot of opportunities to, to do a lot of things, a lot of opportunities for success. And also, I will speak to the diversity of the classes. It's not just all cooking classes. You've got hospitality cost controls, which basically you set up your own restaurant and have to price everything. Oh, um, wow. Uh, there's, you have your intro to baking and your, your skills class. We have classes about the front of the house and the service. Mm -hmm. And we do the, the chef's yep. table yep. Uh, you know, every week. So just a wide variety of different classes that really hit on all aspects of what I think a restaurant uh, you know, owner would want and, and a student. Then a lot of experience between the two instructors that I that I have had, so that's awesome to tap into. So they've actually made money well, doing what they're teaching you. They've worked in the field. They're not just up there telling you what how to do it or what to do. Like They've lived it. Yeah. Um, they have many stories, uh, which is always very interesting. What is the trick to not ball your eyes out? There really isn't one. If you, only if you're wearing contacts. If you can find somebody who's wearing contacts, contact lenses, have them. Are you serious? Because my, no, my kids work. all wear contacts. And they still cry? No. Oh. But oh. they've been telling me for years that I have a, I have a, a tear problem. I have an emotional control problem. They're cheating. That's what they're doing. Have them cut the... Unbelievable. Uh -huh. 